Well, cool. The uh, Starlink satellites are up. Let me just see what Twitter's got to say. So a couple of days ago, you probably saw the launch images of Elon Musk launching 60 satellites at once into the night sky. And everything was fine until the first images came back of the train as seen from the ground by amateur astronomers. And immediately my Twitter went into meltdown. And it seems like just for the past three days, it's all anyone's been talking about besides Jupiter and what's happening with the unfurling of the great red spot. Uh, most of the conversation has been about how this is going to affect the night sky. If you haven't heard, Starlink is going to be a constellation or a network of satellites, much like the Iridium satellites. Now, there were 66 Iridium satellites in total in the network, and they were in a higher orbit. These smaller satellites are going to be about 500 kilometers up, and they're going to be visible all the time, as far as I can tell. What's really concerning, besides the initial brightness that we saw from the Starlink image train, is the simple fact that there are going to be 12,000 of these in the network eventually. And this is really concerning for us astronomers. I mean, it's not uncommon for us to see a satellite shooting through our images, especially when we're shooting stuff that's near a geosynchronous orbit where a bunch of satellites will be hanging. But the fact that there's going to be 12,000 of these things has really sent my Twitter into an overload. Here is an image of what the network is going to look like eventually. Uh, you can see that all corners of the globe are covered. And there's really nowhere you can be on the surface of the Earth where there isn't going to be two or three of these in the sky at the whole time. Now that's a lot less impactful than looking at the brightness of that star train that we've been seeing. But this goes to the heart of a bigger issue. And that's the slow degradation of the night sky. Now, this is a price we pay for living in the modern world. As astronomers, we already are on the back foot because of cities and just modern human civilization anyway, which has already erased a lot of the night sky, both for professionals and for amateurs. But here we're seeing something that's going to affect everyone, whether you live in the city, out of the city, or even in a remote part of Africa, you are always going to see satellites in the sky moving through your images and this problem is only going to get worse it's not just elon musk and as usual twitter melts down there are people who love to hate elon musk and there are people who love to love elon musk and they're all at loggerheads uh, but let's put this in perspective it's about more than just spacex this is going to be the way that new satellite networks are formed. We're going from a period where we have, say, 2,000 functional satellites now in the sky to 12,000 in the next few years of these smaller satellites, and that's just one network. There's going to be many of these networks, and there will come a point where we're looking up at the night sky and we will always see small moving stars. And that's weird to think about. How this impacts professional astronomy as well is also with the radio frequency that it's using. And we're already seeing, even with the 5G rollout, that there are some conflicts between the weather and climate science networks. Of course, I know there's some irony with me sitting here complaining about satellites. I'm probably most well known for photographing a satellite, the most famous satellite we have up there, the International Space Station. Elon said some pretty funny things on Twitter. He said that the ISS was shining lights. Uh, that's a very silly thing to say, and I'm not trying to bash Elon here, it's just, Maybe he spoke out of turn, or maybe he just didn't really know what he was saying there. Elon Musk also said that satellites, in particular these satellites, just aren't visible, or won't be visible at night. And I'm not sure if he's thinking about in the middle of a city, or if you aren't an astronomer in general, or you don't know where to look. But us amateur astronomers, we do notice satellites, we notice them all the time. Now you can mitigate the effect of satellites in your images by simply removing that particular exposure, or dithering and averaging the trails out. Uh, but either way, it is a degradation of the imagery. There are other professional observatories, like the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope based in Chile, uh, which is designed for wide field surveys. Now, these wide field surveys are going to be riddled 
with satellite trails. And increasing the number of satellites we have from 2,000 to 14,000 is not going to have a very good effect on this sort of survey data. Now Fraser Cain and Elon Musk had a little conversation on Twitter as well and Elon said that he was hand on heart trying to make sure that he wasn't going to affect the scientific and astronomical community and even sort of suggested that the solution for this was to move all our telescopes into orbit um, which is a very nice idea but me with my little Celestron telescope in the backyard observatory that gives me no comfort whatsoever. So thank you but I'd rather the team worked on trying to make sure that the satellites weren't reflective in the first place. That would go a long way to resolving the situation we're finding ourselves in now. But of course you need to be able to track these things as well and the more we cover the earth in this network grid of satellites and different satellite networks at all different orbits the harder it's going to be not just for us amateur astronomers but also to actually find a launch window to get out of the Earth and into space when we need to. We're also told that the radio frequencies being used are specifically chosen to not interfere with other scientific ground-based observations. Uh, so we'll have to see how this continues. But long story short, the Starlink network may not be really as impactful as everyone thought on Twitter when those first images of the train flying past the sky were released. They were scary to be honest. However, this is going to make a difference. There are going to be more satellite trails and this is just a sign of things to come. Now we know that other corporate entities have pulled out of stunts where they were advertising in the sky because of the backlash. And the backlash here of a social media to Elon Musk and SpaceX has been swift and heavy. And he has made comments in his Twitter to say that he's hearing those concerns and making changes to the network to try and mitigate the effect as much as possible. So hats off to him and I hope that's true. But what we're seeing is the next chapter of the satellite population in space and the gradual disappearance of the clear night sky wherever you are on the earth. And that is a sobering thought indeed. My name is Dylan O'Donnell. Remember everything is meaningless and we're all going to die.